Hey guys, it is Crystal here with Art It Out, coming at you with a few new things that I have available on my Journal of Finds store. Um, I'm super excited to share a couple new journals and these and a couple things. So if you're not, don't want to see what I got going on, I don't, um, I understand, but if you want to see, then, oh my god, love, yes, here we go. These are... I'm calling my itty bitties. I have showed, um, made these previously similar, and I did a giveaway. Um, actually made some to sell because I had quite a few of you guys interested in them. Um, they're gonna be. You get it like this, and it'll be on um, for a little closer. You're gonna have like this. You can easily close it up. Each one will come with its own on here and it's some lovely eyelash trim with a little dangle to, to keep it in place. And it's literally just this cute, fun, little itty bitty journal made with lots of different types of, of art cards and um, inspirational cards and whatnot. Now you can art these out, use it as a little journal, you can put it in your purse, use it to write on, um, great for writing your um, inspirational quotes and things on, just a fun little, fun little one. Like I said, I don't have their, all their, pardon Bentley guys, all their little um, closures on because I didn't want to put them on until I sell them, easier that way. So you will get a little closure with it. Nothing fancy. Um, they're all different. Um, we got constellations and different cards inside. Um, another one that pops open. So they they each have three um, flaps. Little flippy flappies each one. So you have all of these beauties here, and they are going to be three dollars for one or two for five. And these are on my. Um, I'm kind of getting away from Etsy guys because they just up. They keep up in their price, and it's not worth it. Um, I make these things so they enjoy them, and I, and to to be able to afford for me to art. So, I am doing now, um, I still have my Etsy store, um, but these are not on it. I am doing now, um, I have a Facebook page, and it is for, it's called Rejournal Finds, and I post um, there what I have what I have available, and we pay through PayPal, and, um, and if you can't do PayPal because of some other reasons, I've actually had um, members send like the money to me to my house because they can do PayPal and whatnot, and that's all right. And I put aside that, and when I got their money, I shipped their stuff out. So I'm willing to work with you. So don't let, um, I hope this doesn't deter you from enjoying my yummies that I make. <laughs> so here we go. Those are the itty bitties. Three dollars a piece or two for five. Okay. I just love these. They're so adorable. And like I said, each one will have a little closure on it. Nothing humongously fancy, but still. All right. Next. Now I have a couple of book read journals. And if you guys haven't been with me, really long, how I got read journals name is it's a recycled journal. I try to use recycled items. These are old books that were getting. Um, getting ready to be recycled. I took took their covers. I you know, so that's that's where I got journal recycled journals. Both of these are hardback books. They each have three signatures, thirty pages. So it'd be actually sixty, and then times be one hundred and forty actual surfaces to art on. <laughs> So, I love this. This is the original. I wanted to keep that, but I wanted to 
give it a little more and I went ahead and did some gold on it. I'm not going to go through every little page, but I'll show you kind of a glimpse. You've got different types of paper to art on. Now, the journals that I make are for art, guys. Um, they're strictly for, I mean, you can take them and write in them, but they are they can stand up. These are thick, good papers that you can art your little hearts away on. Um, some files, some cards, um, some of my own uh, papers to get you started, some different word papers, just some all kinds of yummy, thick, 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 different, different paper textures, width, weight, um, it's a good mixed media, I think, type of journal. Um, of course, you can throw some gesso down, and you can pretty much art on anything anyways, but I had to include some black. And there's a few colors, and just all kinds of goodies. So there you go. There's that one. And then we have this one. I was going to do some paint running down it. It's a wildlife, the world over illustrated. But I was able to save the inside cover parts. And I just love that. Having that original, I mean, uh, how cool is that, right? Same amount of pages, different pages though. That I mean, um, some have the same, but yummy goodness in here. Um, you know, these you can use for great for backgrounds. Because um, I can't color that little bitty stuff; it gives me a migraine. <laughs> but to use it as a background would be wonderful. So there you go. Now both of these are. They're $15. You, there will be an additional $4 for shipping in the United States. So if you're out of the United States, get a hold of me and I will work with you and try to get you the cheapest shipping available. Um, it's not going to be one that, you know, usually seven, eight bucks around about for shipping these type of things. And it's not a fast shipping either. It's one that takes a little while. Next one I have, and I love this. This is my Flex Re Journal. It is. It has a closure like this. It has the same. Actually, has a few more papers than these do, but not many. So I'm still gonna say they have 60. Um, it's flexible. You guys see this? It's flexible. This is a old, old. Um, well, it's not old, but <laughs> it was a, I love the design. I thought that would be an awesome journal. So it's actually like a trap or keeper type of thing. But see, it's flexible, flexible, flexible. Um, a lot of people don't like the flexible one, but I want to stress this is a flexible one. Um, I had somebody buy one kind of like this on my, um, in my actual Etsy store and gave me horrible reviews because they didn't realize it was a flexy one so um yes flexible flexible you got this great pocket here this one's kind of more of a um it's still great obviously for art like i said anything i put out there i want you to use if i wouldn't use it i'm not gonna sell it but a lot it's got junk in it too so it's kind of like a mixed media it's regional type these card stocks this is like super thick they're great for um, and this is like, I glued together, um, like four or five pieces of thin and you get this great texture. Um, so it's kind of, it's got lots of different papers yet again. This one has, um, this one does have some fold outs. It also has some, if I can find one, um, pocket, there's a couple pockets in here. Um, and you can art on them. You know, you could use these as a glue book if you're not really into um, painting and stuff. You need, these are these will make great glue books, collage books. But they can take the paint too. This is a piece of wallpaper. I've got lots of maps in here. This one, and on their own, they're pretty thin. But I glue the way I glue them makes them thick enough that you can really art on. See how many pages, guys? I just love it. Uh, if I keep talking it up, I might end up having to keep it because I really do like it. <laughs> and I do have enough. I'm going to make another one. Um, doesn't mean it won't be exactly like this. 
and these great thick pieces. Um, all my journals are unique. Uh, here's like all oh, the flippy floppies. Yummy thick thick paper. Some more of that. So yeah, this is a pocket right here. There you go. Some different more wallpaper. Great texture. So there, and this one does have a closure because it kind of it's it's. I decided to put a closure on this one. This one is going to be 20 guys, and the shipping on this, because it doesn't have the big hardback, is going to be 3 for shipping. So Now, I want to make sure you guys know, I still have um, this left out of the last one. This is the last one I have for with the Tim Holtz goodie one, with the get goods. Um, and those are three signatures, or no, this one's four. How many signatures this one's got? No, let me just got five, ten, five signatures of five is how I did this one because it's a wider book. I wanted it to lay flat. I like them to lay flat when I art on them. And these are, again, you can art on these. You can gesso them, paint them, glue them, do whatever you want. So this one is still available and it is 20. I love it. I love this. I love this. And this is a um, vintage um, advertisement I cut out of a 30s magazine. I mean, the only thing smoother is I just love that. Cute. Just wanted to share that. Now I also have, you guys, um, I shared some cover cracks on my, I still have, these ones are still in my Etsy store. If you want to go over and see better, closer pictures, um, they are. These are still on the Etsy store. So you got beautiful. They're just so much fun. Pretty. I love them. So these have a lot of. Um, they've got charms and beautiful um, beads and buttons and bling green. That one's got a leaf, silver leaf. Um, the different, different ones here. So these are still on my Etsy one, and they're ten dollars. But I wanted to show you on here all my journals. I saw I always make sure to put a um, loop for cover crack or for a charm. You know, um, these work really easy. You don't even have to use the loop. You can actually put these on any type of book because it's a clip you just put on top, and there you go. Let me turn it over the other way. And the nice thing is you can put them either way. They'll work. So if you like it sitting a certain way. Um, you got this beautiful. This one's really thick. I made this. Um, um, I had a special order. And I went ahead and made a couple extras while I did them. But yes. So this one's got all kinds. These two are on my... Um, I show pictures of these on the Facebook business page that I have. So all kinds, and it's got old jewelry. Um, yes, so these are ten dollars too. So I love these; they're so much fun. Um, I've had some really good um, people just keep ordering them, so I keep making them. These are really poofier than the other ones. Um, not so much. Um, yeah, uh, and now if you want, you could use the little, the, the little, if I can get it in there, there, well, the little loop instead, you can do that too, and you have this, so I would, per I would suggest using the actual, the spine of the book, isn't that pretty, gorgeous, and it just sucks, there you go, so yeah.